This is the second video in a series for the spreadsheets formulas. So make sure you've watched the first video addition if you have not done so already. Okay, so here we are on the second sheet, subtraction. Make sure you're on that sheet. And we're going to start off by looking at that same bit of utilities here or uh, expenses that you might have. And we're going to add a uh, monthly income here. So you're going to give yourself uh, $2,500 in income here, which uh, if you, you know, extrapolate that out, uh, enough money to probably have, make a pretty good living for yourself. Okay, now when you type in 2500 it's automatically going to change the format to $2,500. And of course, remember, you can change that format by going to format and then number and changing it to something else. So if it doesn't come up as currency, you can always change it like that. Okay, so on the last sheet, we looked at how you can use the sum formula to add up a bunch of different things that you, you need to add up. So in this case, it's expenses. So we're going to go back to what we learned on the last video, which is the sum formula. So we're going to um, go ahead and do our more button here and click on the functions button or sigma and then go ahead and choose sum. And the things we want to add together are all of these expenses because our income is not an expense. Our income is what we are subtracting the expenses from. So we want to subtract the sum and then click in between the equal sign and the word sum. So right in between the equal sign and the word sum. And then click on the cell that you want to subtract that information from. Then type a minus sign. And if you have an extra space like I do here, delete that extra space. But essentially, you're subtracting the sum of all of these numbers, all of your expenses, from the amount that you had to work with. And when you press return, that you have $623 to still play with. That's if you are making $2,500 a month, um, which would be, again, not a, a huge sum, but definitely uh, enough to make a decent living coming out of college. All right, so again, when you click on that cell, cell B11, you can see that you have the same formula that you typed in there, and everything looks good. If yours does not look like mine, it's probably why your answer isn't the same. Go ahead and try that out by yourself, and then go on to the third video for multiple.